Hey YouTube, so I wanted to say I'm sorry for not getting as much done yesterday at the convention as I had hoped for. Um, I was still feeling pretty sick when we went and unfortunately that really took its toll on me throughout the day just being very, very, very tired. And Melly was up taking care of me through the night so she was pretty tired as well. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you how I made that flash sentry wig. So here it is complete on my mannequin head. And I'm going to show you how I spiked it and made it look like this. Um, this is a wig from Epic Cosplay. There will be a link below. It's the Apollo style in deep blue. And uh, here we go. Let's get started. Here are some of the supplies that I used to make this style. It's got to be glued, freezing spray, a pair of scissors, as well as just some clips, whatever you can, to section it off. Okay, so you can see where the wig started. Um, this is the Apollo wig from Epic Cosplay, like I said earlier. And uh, the first step is sectioning out where you want your spikes. I could have used a comb for this process, but I decided to just eyeball it. Um, so I will speed up the video so you're not watching me section off an entire wig. Yo, listen up, here's the story About a little guy that lives in a blue world And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue Like him inside and outside Blue his house with a blue little window and a blue corvette And everything is blue for him and himself and everybody around Cause he ain't got nobody here are a few pictures of the wig after I've sectioned off at least the top portion of it. Um, from here I'm going to go ahead and spike half of it so that you can see where I kind of want to go with the style. As I make the spikes I'm cutting into the fibers in order to thin out the top so I get a nice pointed spike. You can see that demonstrated right here. And now I'm going to show you how I actually made some spikes. This was actually a lot more simple than it looked when I went to start it. Uh, the first thing to do is just to grab your sectioned piece of hair. Right here is where you would use a comb to make sure that it's all neat when you put it in. It only takes a little bit of the freezing spray concentrating underneath the spike because that's the part that has to defy gravity the most. And then I just hit it on low heat um, and low air flow with the hair dryer to speed up the drying process. As you can see, it's already standing up very easily. So I just keep doing that um, until I feel that it's in a good spot. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my scissors and cut into the spike like I showed you before. This just takes some of the weight out like I had said, make sure I get all those little extra hairs so that I'm not gluing a lot of little extra sticky outy hairs. I hit it with a little bit of hairspray twisting at the tip in order to uh, make sure that spike looks nice and pointy on top. So then I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that process with my next spike. Uh, it's good to keep in mind here that the angle that your spike is uh, leaning towards, if you want everything to be uh, very symmetrical and in line, it's good to keep in mind where your points are ending up. I kind of wanted this to be a little bit more messy because it's not crazy anime hair that's glued in place. It's flowy pony hair and it's my own take on what would have been a mohawk because I think Flash Sentry is a pretty punky character. Remember to keep cutting into that tip and pulling out the extra hair that you do cut away. On the front one, I cut it a little bit shorter so I did take off some length because I didn't want the spikes in the very front to be the same length as the spikes that are happening in the middle or even the back of the head. Um, I wanted it to taper a little bit. Make sure you twist the tip in order to create that really good spike as well. And then when you're all done with that, you're going to grab some Eileen's Tacky Glue and 
just put a little tiny bit on your fingers. It does dry clear even though it comes out white. And twist that onto the tip of all of your spikes to get them very, very pointy. And it does wash out with water if you mess up. It is a very sticky process though. From here, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up so you can watch me spike the rest of this wig. Keep in mind here that I'm working with the sections and um, working one spike at a time. That's really important so that you can get the overall look. Take a second every little while to stop and look at your wig from all angles so you can make sure that it's lining up with the reference picture that you have in place or the idea that you had in your mind when you set out to style your wig. Some of these spikes, as I was working with them, I left a little messier because I wanted to work quickly. Um, but I did go back afterwards and hit them with the Eileen's Tacky Glue, and that made them nice points. Towards the bottom, I was really just piecing out the hair. I hit it with a little bit of hairspray and just made it come to a little point at the bottom. But I wanted it to look kind of natural, so I left the very, very bottom completely undone just with a little bit of hairs hairspray in it so it didn't look like it didn't belong with the rest of the hair. Once I finished what you're seeing here, I was pretty much done with the wig. It took me about an hour and a half, no more than two hours total, including styling on the convention day. You can see that there's still a little clip in the front. I wanted to cut that little bang that Flash Sentry has, so you can see that right here. Otherwise, here's some pictures from all the different angles, and I'll include a picture of Brandon in his Flash Sentry costume here at the end. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, but for a first time, it was definitely worth trying.